shiny white trunks and washboard abs in the iconic Dolce & Gabbana abs have helped Deva Gandhi to become the world's highest paid male model. But is it all down to good airbrushing? Nope, he's as pretty in real life as I found out this morning. If only all men looked as dapper as this in a high street jacket and trousers. Male supermodel David Gandhi was in Dublin this morning to showcase the Collectioni collection from Marks and Spencer. Probably best known for his now iconic Dolce & Gabbana light blue ads, how does he manage to keep trim and squeeze into those tiny white trunks? Is the working out that you have to do as part of your job, is that nearly like another job on top of the modelling? You have to fit into your lifestyle. Yeah. You know, people kind of go, well, I'm going to train for this month. Well, why are you just doing it for a month? Why do you yeah. not change your whole life? It is, I, I fit into, it is just part of my life now. I'll do it at 8 o'clock in the morning. It might be, well, I'll do it at 11 o'clock at night. And unfortunately, with working out, there's no cheat. There's no magic pill. It, it's, it's hard work. I like a drink and I love my food. I'm a complete foodie. We got here last night and I was had two pints again and a couple of whiskeys later. I was <laughs> had a lovely night's sleep. Whatever you put into your body that day, then you just subtract with the amount of exercise you do. A lot is made about the fact that you're the highest paid male model. Is it in the world or the UK? <laughs> I have no idea. Let's say the world, okay? Is that because you're the best looking or because of your attitude and how you've operated within the business over the last decade? I've kind of used the female supermodels as a as a platform for where I want to be. You have to you now to compete with the actors and the sportsmen coming in. While every fashion spread looks like a holiday, in reality nothing is as rosy as it seems through the lens. You actually don't get on that well with Giselle. Um, is that... Is it a personality clash or is it that there are her ego or where does it come from? Because when you see the shots, like you look like you've so much chemistry. I think if you've been both being in the business as long as we have, then you go in and you get the shot done. That's why people pay us to do what we do. And the first time I met her, she came, she just done an article on how she hated British men. You know, we're, we'll work together and we have done in the past, but we're not, we're not going to be best friends at yeah. the end of the day. In the past, David has been linked to pop star Molly King from the Saturdays and Irish MTV presenter Laura Whitmore. Are you a difficult man to date? Well, that's something I'm going to get myself in more trouble here. Um, I probably am because I mean, you know, I, I just think there's a certain time in your life that I, I, I want to work hard uh, and I want to achieve a lot. And to do that, you know, you have to make sacrifices. And uh, I'm away a lot, I travel a lot try and have a relationship with someone who travels 90 times a year. I, I'd hopefully like to think that uh, the girls have been out and stand up for me and say I'm a pretty good boyfriend. For more info on the Collezioni range, check out marksandspencer.ie.